Sarge knows what it takes to be a real American hero, so today he brought with him Hero for your Atari 2600, and totally dig that guy. Looks like it's almost like modified Ghostbuster gear right there. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and take Hero, pop it in my Atari 7800 Pro system, and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Hero was published by Activision and carries a copyright year of 1984, coming out at the same time of the video game crash. It was programmed by John Van Risen, who also programmed Cosmic Commuter, which I reviewed in episode 336. Hero stands for Helicopter Emergency Rescue Operation. According to the manual, duty calls. Roderick Hero at your service. Please call me our hero. Everyone does. I wish to address myself to fledging heroes and all-around good guys everywhere. A crisis. Crisis is afoot, afforded me an ideal opportunity to share a few of the finer points of heroic endeavor with you. Do pay attention. Volcanic activity has trapped miners in mine shafts in Mount Leon. I shall use equipment some think it rather nifty, of my own invention to help miners no mere mortal can reach. It would give me great pleasure to have your help. The object of this undertaking is to rescue all the miners possible before running out of lives. Hero is a multi-screen action game for one player only and only has one mode of difficulty. It has five game variations that will affect which level you start on. Game variation 1 starts on level 1, game variation 2 starts on level 5, game variation 3 starts on level 9, game variation 4 starts on on 13, and Game Variation 5 starts on level 17, but all the following levels are random. In the first four Game Variations, the word Pro will appear in place of the level number after level 20. You start the game with four lives and you can earn an extra life at every 20,000 points, with your lives maxing out at six. You lose a life if you touch a hazard or run out of energy. Lose all of your lives and the game is over. The goal of each level is to find and save a trapped miner by touching them. You move with the joystick, pressing up will activate your prop pack allowing you to fly around. Pressing the buttons fire your laser, but be advised using flying and firing your laser will use up energy as well. You also have six sticks of dynamite for each level that can blow up walls. You can place one by pressing down while on foot, but you need to be very close to the wall and you need to get away before it explodes. You can also use your laser to destroy the wall, but it will take a lot of time and a lot of energy as well to do so. Each level has various baddies that can kill you on contact and including spiders, snakes, and the greatest nemesis of all video games, bats. Some walls and surfaces glow red, meaning they contain magma and are deadly to the touch. There are also rivers to avoid that sometimes have rafts on them to ride. Also beware of lanterns. Touching one will turn off the lights for that screen. Scoring wise, you get 50 points when you shoot a critter and 50 points for every stick of dynamite remaining when a miner is rescued. You get 75 points for destroying a wall with dynamite and 1,000 points for rescuing a miner. You also get extra points for any energy remaining at the end of the level. And according to the manual, the day has been saved when you reach 1 million points. When the game came out, you could also join the Order of the Hero and get a patch. If your score reached 75,000 points and you send in a picture of your score to Activision. Graphically speaking, as with most Activision games, the game looks very nice. Sound and music wise, the game lacks music but has some really nice sound effects. Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E for everyone rating if it was released today. At the time I researched on eBay including shipping, loose copies were going for $33 to $46. Since this game came out around the same time as the video game crash, that could explain why it's so hard to find. So what did I think of Hero? I could see why so many gamers rave about Hero. It looks great, sounds great, controls well, and is just plain fun. The difficulty ramps up pretty well too, although personally I'm not that great at the game. Some of the later levels really require precise movements, and sadly I lack those when playing it. Are there other games out there that are better suited for my taste? and skills on a 2600? Sure, but I still found Hero a blast to play and could easily see myself playing it more and more in the future. So where am I going to rank Hero? This one's going to be in my top 25, among some other fun games. I do like the classic Centipede more at 24, but I will put this over Empire Strikes Back at 25. So out of the 154 games I've now ranked on the Atari 2600, Hero is flying into the 25 position. Some may find Hero pretty challenging, but it can also be a fun and rewarding game to play. At least that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please click like and subscribe and follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. I'm also a member of the Retro Junkies Network. At this time, I'd like to thank all of my extraordinary Patreon supporters, including Nick from the Genesis Gems podcast. Thank you, Nick. If you appreciate the work I do 
and enjoy my videos, please consider becoming a Patreon supporter by signing up at patreon.com slash nosweargamer starting at a single dollar a month. Not only will you help make videos like this possible, but you will also gain access to some exclusive content and be able to vote on future games I review. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care, and if you ever install lanterns into a mining cave, make sure they have an easily accessible light switch, or maybe even hook them up to a clapper.